Hello and welcome to the mnemonic webinar series. The topic of today is called empower your users to prevent email threats. My name is Andre Hulvik and I work for Mnemonic. After having worked in IT for more than 20 years, I have been exposed to many different sorts of security awareness programs and to different approaches on how to best engage the end users to reduce the overall risk. Email is, as you all know, still a key concern to organizations, and it's also the primary threat vector used by cyber attackers. Analysts frequently state that more than 90% of cybercrime starts with email. So what I will present today is a solution that will provide your users with a helpful tool they can use to quickly get a second opinion on emails that look suspicious or that they have some concerns about. Before we get started, I want to highlight that the new mnemonic webinar series now has four different topics available and there are more topics lined up as well. So follow us on LinkedIn or visit the mnemonic.no website to get more information about when the next webinar will take place. So in this webinar, we will first review the challenges users are facing these days when it comes to email. We will then review a set of best practices related to email usage and also discuss why it's challenging for users to follow these guidelines, in particular when working remotely. And to make it easier for users to make the right decisions, we will look into one approach that will provide your users with a simple to use tool that will be very helpful to quickly receive a verdict stating if the email is safe or if it should be deleted. Finally, we will review the Argus Mail Query service that makes this interaction happen. I guess you all have received similar emails during the last weeks and months. Emails sent to both your private email accounts, but also to the email account you use at work. Here are two examples of such emails detailing how specific organizations are managing the ongoing crisis and where you can find more information. A trend we are seeing with such emails is that they now commonly include a URL that you can click on to find out more. In addition to emails sent with clickable links, it has also become common to distribute documents with details about how, for example, a municipality or uh, another public service is dealing with the current situation. In the two examples I have here, we see PDFs attached to email. As these emails claim to contain critical information on what will happen now with schools, childcare, etc., it's easy to understand why users want to open the attached files to get the latest update. Here are two examples detected by Proofpoint, where you will see that the one to the left side contains a link, while the other one contains an attachment. These are both examples of ongoing hacking campaigns. And just to follow up on that, Proofpoint just released a post from their threat research team stating that they now see more than 140 campaigns with different, different Corona themes. As mentioned already, there are many good advices explaining users what they should do when they receive suspicious emails. As you see from these examples, it's not straightforward to follow these guidelines as they do add extra work both for the user and for the overall organization. It's very common that users do not want to create more work for their colleagues. So even if the recommendations here are correct, users might decide not to follow these guidelines regardless. It's also fair to say that many organizations might not have fully documented and communicated procedure that will detail what the user should do when they receive emails they believe might be suspicious.
When the user receives an email that looks somewhat suspicious, he or she will have to make a choice on what to do with that email. Here are common examples of what the user might do. Examples like forward to a CISO IT security team, also common to forward to the help desk team, uh, very common to discuss with a colleague, uh, have someone come over and review on your PC, which is very hard these days, of course, uh, or ask someone uh, to get their feedback on the phone. Delete the email, click on the links, open attachments. So there's many different choices that the user uh, will have. Um, and um, it's not very consistent how the user will do, how they will behave when they uh, receive uh, some emails. So what we want to introduce here is a simple way for users to get an immediate second opinion without having to contact colleagues or a team responsible for reviewing security incidents. It is a very simple process that will make it easier for the user to make the right decision. A simple add-in to Outlook, Outlook Web Access and Mail clients on mobile devices based on iOS and Android will ensure that this procedure can be used across many different platforms. This add-in is called MailRisk and it, it is developed by our technology partner, Security Practice. These add-ins are included in the mail query from Argus uh, that we will dive into in just a minute. When the user has submitted an email for review using this add-in, he or she will immediately receive the first feedback as you see in the two examples to the left. At the same time, the user will be asked if the email is suspicious or if it's just annoying. You will also notice that the user is re rewarded 50 points for this operation and that more points are added if the verdict of the email Analysis concludes if the email was actually dangerous. So the goal of this solution is to provide users with a tool to trigger a scan of suspicious emails in a very simple way. As already mentioned, the user can submit the email to receive a second opinion. This will not require any involvement from colleagues. The service will be provided 24 seven and the feedback will always contain a verdict stating if the email is safe or not. This way, the user can make an informed decision without involving any colleagues. In addition to the instant feedback with a security advice, a user can click on a simple button to submit the email for full analysis, as you see in the screenshot here. The response the user will get within minutes will contain the outcome of the analysis, as you see here, with an example of an email that's, that was submitted and that turned out to be dangerous and should be deleted. So the user will receive an email, like in this case, stating suspicious email, um, with information about uh, the email that he or she submitted. The analysis backend for this service is called Argus Mail Query. It ensures that users will receive accurate feedback in the form of a verdict on every email they submit. A lot of the security analysis is automated and completed without any interaction uh, with the organization itself. Time to conclusion is reduced and the workload is moved from the local security team to an external SOC with security experts available 24 seven. In addition to provide a verdict stating if the email was legitimate or malicious, this conclusion can also trigger an automated removal of similar emails from all the user's mailboxes. This requires some more integration work to happen but it will be a very efficient way to reduce overall risk when such emails are pulled out of the affected inboxes automatically.
So the solution can serve as a very good addition to any ongoing awareness programs. Rewards can be given to users with submission that turns out to be dangerous. So how does it work on a high level? Four steps are involved. First, user clicks on the button to get a second opinion and will immediately see that an advice is added to the email itself. Then, if a user is still not confident about the email, he or she can perform a one-click submission to have the email analyzed in more detail. Three, the email is then automatically analyzed by the mnemonic Argus service, and if required, it will be manually reviewed by the SOC team analysts. And four, once the analysis has completed, the safe or malicious uh, verdict is sent back to the user. The Argus Mail Query Service performs an extensive set of automated analysis. This ensures that all available engines, signatures, custom scripts, IOCs, and other techniques are used to produce the right verdict. If the automated analysis does not provide a full conclusion, the email will then be reviewed by security experts at the 24-7 uh, SOC. Here are two pictures from uh, the largest SOC um, operated by Mnemonic. The security analyst assigned to the case will perform a full analysis of the email and of any attachments as well. The verdict will be communicated back to the user so the user can make the right decision. Here's a figure that details how this works in some more, um, some more detail. The user receives an email and wants a second opinion on what to do with email. The email is sent to mail risk service to get the, the immediate feedback stating if the email is safe or suspicious. The user then decide to send the email to full analysis by the click of a simple button if he or she wants to. The email then enters the Argus mail query backend and undergoes a full analysis as detailed as in this figure before a decision and the verdict is concluded. The verdict is then returned to the user in the form of an email with guidance. It's also possible, as you see at the low left side, to orchestrate actions based on the verdict. So if an email is malicious, the Argus mail query can trigger an action that will eventually ensure that this specific email is automatically removed from all the mailboxes where it exists. So email can be pulled from all mailboxes and can be either deleted or put into a quarantine for the time being. Conclusion. So to conclude this session, this will be a very simple way for your users to get a second opinion on emails that they have concerns about. It will improve the overall security with adding, without adding more work can also be very helpful as a tool to support, support security awareness programs. It's also very important to keep in mind as well that the first user alerting on potential suspicious emails can save his or her organization as the findings can result in a, a removal of a malicious email from all mailboxes in the organization. Solution is also very useful to award uh, active users that submit emails for analysis. With that, we end today's webinar. I hope this was useful and that you now see the benefits this can bring to your organization. If you want more information about the Argus Mail Query Service, please reach out to Mnemonic. Thank you.